A philosopher once asked, are we human because we gaze at the stars? Or do we gaze at the stars because we are human? I've always thought he asked the wrong question. The better question would be, are we gazing back? Now that is a question with endless possibilities. You see, you were all woven by the universe. You were bound by stardust with souls made of flame. Now you see why you gaze up. You are looking at a forgotten home. I am Stargazer, watching from the heavens until one day, I am the one who has forgotten her home. Until then, I will do what stars do best. Hi everyone and welcome to my entry for the 2019 Next Face Awards. I'm very happy to present Stargazer to you. I hope you all enjoy because my floor is entirely covered in stars. So let's get to the good stuff and see how Stargazer was born. So first I'm applying the NYX Bear With Me Jelly Primer. This is going to give a good hydrating base as well as a tacky finish to grab onto my foundations. I'm taking these two foundations and I am patting them into my skin with the NYX Beauty Blender to get the most coverage I can possible. Next, I'm going in with my Revolution Beauty Concealer. This is going to highlight certain areas of my face and it's gonna give me more coverage uh, in specific areas like under my eyes. With the NARS Orgasm Illuminator, I'm applying that as more of a liquid blush since the foundation has taken away those blush tones that I would naturally have in my skin. With the Kat Von D Metal Crush Palette, I am taking the white shade, I'm applying that to the highlights of my face to bring some glow back into the skin. Using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, I am setting my entire face and neck very lightly as we are going to put powder on top and we want to still have a little bit of a grip. Using the ABH Shadow Primer, I am priming my lids for the color that we are going to be placing there. With the NYX Ultimate Brights Palette, I am first applying the yellow shade on my inner corner. The yellow is going to transition into the orange shade on my outer corner, which I bring up towards my temples. With the purple from the palette, I am applying that on my temples. I'm bringing that up around the edge of my forehead and also down towards my cheekbones and on top of my ear. Taking the Violet Voss, the rainbow palette, I am applying Fiji, which is the light blue shade, onto the outer edge of my forehead, bringing that into the purple and in towards more of the center of my forehead very lightly. We want that soft transition from the blue to my skin color. Then taking the royal shade from the palette, which is obviously the royal blue, I am blending that as a transition shade between the light blue and the dark purple in my temples. Going back in with the NYX Ultimate Brights palette, I'm using that first row of reds and pinks and I'm using that as a blush slash contour on my face, which will also transition into that purple shade and give that a nice seamless edge. Taking this really pretty silver pigment, I'm applying that on my inner corner as an inner highlight and applying that as a cut crease. And I am taking the orange shade from the NYX Ultimate Brights palette and I am just blending the edge of that cut crease. Taking my favorite glitters, these are the Makeup Forever Diamond Dust in 103 and 104 and I'm applying that all over the color that I've placed on my face. Now I'm going to set my face with the Anastasia Dewy Set Setting Spray. 
Using the Anastasia Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde, I've mixed it with a bit of oil so it's more of a thinner consistency, so it's easier to blend out as well. And I'm taking a fine detailed brush and I'm just dotting the product onto my face and then I'm taking my finger and patting that in a bunch of different areas so it gives a very textured look and that gives me the faux freckled appearance. With the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint, I am applying a few more freckles on my face. It's a few shades darker, so it's going to give more of a real uh, feel to the freckles. Now going in with this got to be glued, I applied it to wet hair, that's why I didn't show what I was doing, I had to go to the bathroom and do it. Um, and then I just am brushing out and making it more smooth. And then taking a few baby hair strands, whatever you want to call it, I am just taking my fingers with a bit more of the got to be and running that through the hair a bit more. And then applying that in a way that I want it to be swirled onto my face. Going back in with the ABH Shadow Primer, I'm applying that to my brows to give that bleached brow look. Now we're taking all the same colors that we used on the face and we're applying that in a way that looks pleasing to us on the chest so everything is cohesive and works well together and flows. So we're first taking the pink and we're bringing that right above our collarbones and up around the edge of our neck and then going in with the purple and just deepening that inner area around the cheekbone or cheekbones. The, um, collarbones and then I didn't film it but I went in with the blue on my shoulders it was out of um, camera view so that is why it's not in the video and then I'm taking the yellow and I'm fading that into the pink that we've applied in the area that you see Then we are just adding the Makeup Forever glitters onto our chest area, actually all over the chest and neck area. Using the NYX Wicked Lashes and the Urban Decay White Eyeliner, I'm applying those to my face. I don't remember which lashes they are because I've lost the box for them but they are one of the Wicked Lashes and I've just painted them white with the Mayron Paradise paint and obviously white. Then taking the Mayron Paradise paint in white again I am going with a small fan brush to apply them to my top and bottom lashes to blend with the false lashes that we've painted white. Off camera, I applied the Milk Jumbo Pencil from NYX Cosmetics in my waterline. And then I'm taking these silver strip pieces of paper that I cut in the way that I want them to be. And I'm applying those around my eye to give the effect that they are shooting away from my eye. And anywhere that they are needing to be a little bit more curled, I am curling them so they kind of go with the curve of my natural face shape. Then going in with duo glue, I'm applying that around the edge of the pieces of paper and I'm applying the Lit Cosmetics Your Star Glitter. 
With bobby pins, I am pinning into place the hair extensions that I've colored for this look. I'm just placing them wherever I feel looks best. Then I'm applying more Your Star Lit Glitter onto my body. With the Mayron Paradise Paint Pro Palette, I'm going in with the deepest blue shade and a bit of black and I'm applying that to my roots. For my lips, I am going in with the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in Stepping Out and the Anastasia Estella Lip Gloss and I'm applying that to my lips. Then I'm adding more strips onto my neck and I'm adding these giant stars that I have on my crown and I'm applying that in my neck kind of like a choker. And then going in with even more Your Star Lit Glitter, I'm applying that on the choker area so it gives a more blended look. And that is how Stargazer was born. Thank you guys for watching. Give it a like, a subscribe, whatever you want to do. Follow me on Insta. I want to see recreations if you guys recreate them. So please tag me in them and wish me luck.